Alright guys, how we doing? I am good, thanks. Uh, this is Joe from MovieZoo, aka Lev Dynamite on the forums, aka Don Dollar the Shot Caller on the mean streets of Glasgow. Admittedly no one's ever called me that last one, but I like it and I think if I put it out there, people might start calling me. Ever since MovieZoo released the Superheroes pack in September 2012, a question that's cropped up regularly is how to make it look as if your superhero is moving while flying through a scene. In the words of Montel Jordan, this is how we do it. First of all, open movie zoo and create your scene, just your background scene, no characters, and record the camera movement from left to right. Across this scene, I've used the D key here to scroll from left to right because it's smoother than using the mouse. Keep your eye on the camera preview window to make sure that it's scrolling nice and smooth. Now you just want to go to your video menu in movie zoo, make video, and render out that scene of just the camera movement from left to right. I'm going to name this flying scene background because this is the background of my flying scene. Now go to the file menu in MovieZoo and create a new MovieZoo scene. Go to create objects and insert a super wide object. Scale the object up a wee bit. Now you can create your superhero character, move them in a good position close to the super wide object. Make sure that your superhero characters face in the direction that you want them to fly in. Now go to the prepare menu in MovieZoo, prepare your character actions for the relevant flying animation. I've chosen flying on spot brackets looped from the themed superhero category. And now just direct that character action. Now grab your camera and move into a good position referencing your camera preview pane so that all you can see is your superhero character standing against your super wide background. Now last but not least, right click on your background object and change the texture image to be the AVI file that we rendered out earlier on, remember of the camera moving from left to right on your background. The movie zoo can become quite slow and clunky to use at this point. That's why I do this part last. You could do it earlier if you wanted, but it could be very hard to move everything to position after you put the AVI file in. But if you've been following my instructions in this video, then there's nothing else you have to do now anyway. So just go to make video, render it out, and that's you. And boom, there's your dinner. A hot plate of flying superhero. Now this is just a very quick and basic example I've put together in less than 5 minutes for the sake of demonstration and I think it looks fine. But with a bit more time and effort put in, more detailed sets, some camera blur in the background, I think it would look even better. I hope this video has been of some use to some of you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Don Dollar out. Peace!